All right, so here's a little bit of a here's a little bit of a of a tip, a a life tip, if you will. Floss, okay. If you um, if you ever get things stuck in between your teeth, below the gum line, like really, really stuck, you know. And I have I I have a um, I have a a, a crown back here that for whatever reason between the crown and the tooth that's right in front of it I get food this is pretty nasty but I mean I think it's a pro tip I think it's going to help people hopefully it will it's helped me out um, uh, in between that, that crown and the tooth right in front of it I get food stuck and I'm not talking about I mean there's certain types of food that get stuck there more the one food and I don't know why, it's mostly this food. Other food doesn't tend to get stuck there. But the one piece of food that gets stuck there the most is squid. <laughs> Seriously, squid. Korean squid, man. Because I, uh, and I love, I love squid. You know, dried squid. I'm talking about dried Korean squid. You chew it, it's so flavorful, it's sweet. Oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm addicted. I love it. But what sucks is that every freaking time I eat it, I get a piece of squid stuck in between my tooth, in between my crown and the tooth right in front of it. And so you can't floss it out. I've tried to use floss. I've tried to use, they have these green soft picks and try to push the food out that way. That doesn't work. Um, you know, toothpicks, you know, toothbrush, all that stuff obviously does not work for uh for getting that that food out from down under underneath the the gum line so here's how to get it out man here's how to get it out what you do is you take a piece of floss okay i'm not going to do it here because i'm driving obviously <laughs> and it'd be pretty nasty to watch you watch me pick something out of my my teeth here not that i have anything in there right now anyway anyway take a piece of floss tie a knot in it okay tie a knot in the floss and then Bam, put the floss down in between your teeth, okay, and start pulling it through, and then you get to the knot, and then slowly start to pull the knot through the gums, through the gum line, and what it'll do, it'll pop that food right out of there, man. You know, it's awesome. There have been times that I've had to put two knots in there, <laughs> even, you know, just to make sure I get like a double knot, like not two knots in a row, but like a double knot, like to get a big knot. And I think this is an issue because it, I think it shows like how much my gum is like, I, I've got like a lot of space in there for some reason. I don't know. It's really, really weird. I never had this issue though. It wasn't until I got this crown put in that I started having this issue, man. But, uh, but it does work. It really, really does work. So I just wanted to share this. And, and at first it's kind of weird because you're like, man, how am I going to get this big old knot through the gum? You know, it'll, it'll get through there, you know, and it's not, it won't bleed too badly <laughs> I think the first time first couple times I did it you know and it's not because the knot was too big it's just that it was all sensitive and everything I did it did bleed a little bit but uh, um, you know it won't be too bad you know it won't be too bad so anyway just a life tip a pro tip about how to get some nasty squid dried squid it's not nasty it's good squid but uh, how to get some of that dried squid out from in between your teeth. So anyway, with that, my friends, my people, stay rooted 90 degrees to the earth. One love.